Burns County to learn more about some pickleball courts, the Parks Department is setting up at Round Top Park. First, we're going to talk with Sharon Gordon, a retired Kent County PE teacher and pickleball enthusiast. Pickleball is probably the fastest growing sport in the United States at this point. It's um, a game that can be played by people of all ages. It can be very social playing or it can be very competitive. There are tournaments uh, throughout the United States. There's senior pickleball Olympics that happen actually in Kent County, Delaware this um, September, I believe. And there's another Olympics that's gonna happen in Bowie, I think in August. So it's, it's, it's growing at, at great rates. Apparently there were three families in Bainbridge Island in um, Seattle, Washington, and the weather was bad, so there was nothing for the kids to do. So these um, gentlemen came up with the badminton net, put it low to the ground, and just made paddles out of wood, started to hit the ball back and forth um, for the kids. And what wound up happening is the kids weren't that much interested in it at the time, and the adults became very interested. And it just, you know, they didn't start out saying, this is pickleball. They just started out trying to get keep the kids involved in, in getting to do something. So it just blossomed from there. That was in 1965, I believe. You can get two uh, pickleball courts on either side of the tennis net. And um, you can play singles or doubles. It's um, a badminton serve. It has components of uh, badminton, uh, ping pong, and tennis. It's played with a graphite or aluminum paddle and a wiffle ball type ball. So the ball doesn't bounce like a tennis ball does. So it's, um, and the paddle is obviously pretty short, so it's not like a tennis racket. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's a very, very uh, fun game to play. This is the paddle, it's a graphite paddle, it's lighter. Um, the handle is shorter. Uh, this is the wiffle ball and it has the holes in it. There's an indoor and outdoor ball. Um, but it's pretty light, it just... Um, it sounds like there's not a huge investment as far as the... No, you can get a wooden paddle equipment. for maybe $20, um, and the paddles go up all the way to maybe 200 But to start out, you just need a basic paddle and the pickleball ball. You yeah. just can't play with a regular wiffle ball. And a this place to play. Special. USA Pickleball Association. They just do an awesome job of promoting pickleball. Um, they have rules, they have uh, people that ref the games, that um, they put out their information. You can apply for grants um, if you're trying to start a pickleball um, group in your area. They're just, they just do an awesome job of promoting uh, pickleball. And they so have ambassadors that will come and actually do clinics for you. Uh, they'll come and do the lines for you. We've been very fortunate that the Queen Anne's Parks and Recs have done our lines for us. It can be very social play or it can be extremely competitive. You, if you watch them, um, you can go on YouTube and watch the Pickleball Olympics and the, the, the quickness and the speed that they're hitting this ball uh, back and forth, back and forth is just, it's amazing to watch. But again, it can just be pretty, you know, easy game, just hitting it back and forth, or you can make it a pretty um, competitive game. A friend of mine, Eileen Hahn, who's also a retired teacher, um, I don't know how she got started, but she got me involved a couple years ago and we would travel to uh, Glasgow, um, the YMCA up there, and now we're traveling to the YMCA in Easton. They have it there. And also Kent County Parks and Rec um, at Wharton has it established there. So we would go and play different places at different times. How long have you been playing? About two years. If um, somebody wants to find out more information. You can call Sharon Gordon, 410-778-4308. Oh, I, I love it. My name is Phil Starkey. I'm with the Queen Anne's County Parks Department. I'm the Parks Maintenance Manager, and we're at Round Top Park installing pickleball courts. We started out by uh, resealing the uh, cracks in the asphalt with some tar, and uh, after that set up, we laid out the courts. The courts are 20 by 44. Take a couple tape measures and cross-reference and lay out the basic square, and then we fill the inside with the uh, the dimensions of the of the inner squares. Yeah, and chalk line. Chalk line, and then then after we do that, um, we chalk line it all. We come back and then tape it. 
Um, the line is, is two inches by specifications wide, so we leave a two inch gap in between the tape lines. Um, and then we came back with three coats of yellow traffic paint, which sets up pretty quick and it has a nice finish when it's completed. And about 10 minutes after that's done, we pull up the blue tape and then we have a nice pickleball court. So you don't have to worry about nets or anything like that? No, the nets are portable for pickleball. They, um, they're only like uh, three foot tall and maybe uh, 10 foot wide. So they fold up just like a badminton net and they're easily carried off and on the court. People could still play tennis, but you could fit more pickleball courts. Yes, we could actually put six courts uh, on two tennis, tennis courts. Wow. Yeah. It um, seems to be the latest craze. Yes, it is. And we're hoping that it, it, uh, we get more people playing and we're putting more of these in. So if somebody wants to find out any more information. They should call our office at 410-758-0835. And they can either speak to David Chairs or myself, Phil Starkey. Thanks a lot, Phil. Thank you. Thank you.